So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. Hey YouTube, this is Joe from Zephyr War Games, and I'm bringing to you guys the Elemental Hero Neo's deck profile. So. Um, the Neos got the new support just recently released in Savage Strike. Um, I know I did a profile on this before using proxy cards when they were announced in OTG. Um, but now that we've got the cards in TCG and I've been doing a bit more testing and researching with this deck, uh, I finally got a build that I'm really happy with and want to share with you guys. So, I'll also explain some card choices that you can take home um, probably. Um, then you can put some of your own personal text in there. Um, Maybe to reduce some of the ratios and do a little bit of focusing on stuff that you personally like. But this is um, a build that does tries to accomplish all of the Neos fusions at the very least. Have them all as an option um, and go into all kinds of different plays. So that's and done. Let's get into it. Starting off with your boss monster deck, Elemental Hero Neos. You've got to play him at three just because he is now the heart and soul of the deck. You need copies in your deck. Um to for your Neos fusion and you also need copies in your deck for your prismas and your um, space con connectors so you gotta have three copies of Neos you could probably drop them down to two but that's the furthest I go down one copy is just not enough and I so but for me I personally like three copies I've dropped prisma down to two um, I initially didn't have him in here at all, but I managed to find ways to squeeze him in there. Um, just as like a nice normal summon that you can do. Um, go into your Neos Fusions, um, the old fashioned way. Um, that's just being an option for you. But the newest addition to the deck is Keeper of Dragon Magic. Um, this guy is really good for the deck just because it's a nice normal summon that can get you to your Neos Fusion. Um, other options you could probably go around is the Predator Plant Engine, but um, I just think Keeper Dragon Magic is just much easier. Um, it's just simple summon, discard, search, and go off with your place. Um, and discard is actually quite useful because it dumps um, stuff to the graveyard that you need in the graveyard or you just don't need in your hand. Um, so Keeper Dragon Magic is a very nice addition. And obviously, like the best card that everyone wants to have on the banners, and I really don't want it to, is Neo Space Connector. Um, just a simple normal summon, grab you a Neo Space or Neo set you need, and go off with your place. Nice to go into a link summon that you need, that you want to, if you want. Um, we do play one link monster in the extra day, which you can probably guess who it is. Um, but Neo Space Connector is just an amazing card for this deck. Now I'll go on to the um, Neo Spatians themselves. I play two Dark Panthers and two Grand Moles, and those are the only two of I play. Everything else is a one of. The reason I've gone for these two as a two of is just because I really like um, the option of um, Nebula Neos. I still think Nebula Neos is the best one in terms of the Neo Spatian fusions. Um, so that's why I've got two copies of uh, these two, so that I have more of a chance to go into him when I need to. But as I said, one each of the other, so one Aqua Dolphin, one Fair Scab, one Air Hummingbird, and one Glow Moss. Um, so I play one of each of these, so I have options to go into the others. And obviously, Aqua Dolphin is still really good for its um, converter play, so that's why we still keep him in here as well. Um, and I play three one ofs of one Honesty Neos to search off for your Stratos, which you use for your um, Brave Neos Fusion Summon, and one Rainbow Dragon because, yes, Neos Fusion can help you go into Rainbow Dragon with just one card. So, <laughs> and Rainbow Neos is an amazing boss monster, and if you can get him out, you're in a very, very good spot. Um, so, we do play one copy of Rainbow Dragon for that play. So, that's it for the monsters. Moving on to spells. Probably the best card in the deck now is just Neos Fusion, just everything that Neos needed in one card. Um, lets you fusion summon from your deck um, by sending the materials to graveyard. Um, and then if they will return or be destroyed, you can banish this card instead. Absolutely amazing card, really searchable in the deck and just all around you've got to play it at three. Luckily everything that they got new is a super, so you can build this deck pretty cheaply. Um, 
Free Miracle Contact, probably the next best card. Um, just lets you fusion sound from the graveyard. So we have fusion from deck and fusion from grave. Um, so we can just basically fuse from everywhere. Free Convert Contact, we play so many near um, spatials. So free um, Convert Contact, um, just to add a bit of draw pound consistency to the deck. I'm playing one um, Contact Gate, just as an optional play. Um, to be honest, you could probably take this card out um, completely. I'd I've never seen the complete need to use it, um, so but I'm still playing in here just to try it out. Uh, one Roto because we play a lot of Warriors, and three Cool by the Graves to stop the hand traps. Um, this deck is suit, um, weak to Ash Blossom, and World Time Ash Blossom can halt your play, so you got to play Cool by the Graves to stop those. Obviously, uh, um, Aqua Dolphin helps you with the uh, hand traps as well. And one Monster Reborn, because Monster Reborn. And three copies of Next to round up the main deck. Next is a really nice trap card. Let's use Special Summon any number of monsters with different names from your hand and or graveyard in defense position that are all near spatial monsters or elements of here and nearest, but negate the effects. And as long as you control any of these, those Special Summon monsters face up, you cannot Special Summon monsters from the extra deck except Fusion monsters. You can only Activate one next percent. If you control no cards, you can activate this card from your hand. Very, very nice card. Um, it's probably the reason why I think convert um, contact gate is not as much as needed as much, just because next pretty much does the same thing but better. Um, but uh, I can see some purpose for contact gate, so I still play it in there. That's it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck. We play two copies of Brave Neos. Brave Neos just takes Neos and a effect monster. That's level four or below. Uh, gains 100 health for each near spatial or hero in your graveyard. And one is destroys a post monster for battle. You can add a spell trap from your deck that specifically lists the card elemental hero Neos in its text. Absolutely amazing card. I um, really like it, so I play it at two. I am playing one Neos Knight. Really happy I got this card now. Um, just takes a warrior and Neos can attack multiple monsters. Gains attack equal to half the warrior's attack, um, but just doesn't do damage. So this is a nice option for the deck. And as I said, one Rainbow Neos, just absolutely beast of a boss monster. Uh, one Cosmic Neos. Um, Cosmo Neos, so it takes Neos and three Neos spaces with different attributes. Must first be special summon from the extra by shuffling the above monsters you control into the deck. Do not use polymerization. If this card is special summon from the extra deck, you can activate its effect. For this is turn, your opponent cannot activate cards. Also, cards your opponent controls cannot activate their effects. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects and sponsors effects activation. So they either negate the summon or everything's negated. Um, similar to uh, Kali Yuga. And then once per turn during the end phase, shuffle this card into the extra deck, and if you do, destroy all cards your opponent controls. 3500, 3000, just overall really good boss monster. Uh, and then we have the Nebula, Neos, Magma, Neos, and Storm Neos, just to have your options. The only reason, the only one I don't really go into much is Storm Neos. Um, I usually just prefer Nebula or Magma. Magma for the big punch finishes, um, and we all know why Nebula Neos is good. And then we play the other ones, basically the single ones. So Storm Neos, the Konami, please reprint this card. It's strictly overpriced for no reason. Um, Grand Neos, Flare Neos, still probably my one of my favorites. Dark Neos, I've added this card to the deck just because the effect negation is pretty good. Um, and the Glow Neos as well, uh, is still a pretty good monster. Um, and one Aqua Neos. And then the one Link monster I play, which you all probably guess, is Isolde. <laughs> just takes two warriors, nicely to go into. Search as you your honest um, Neos, um, so that way your monsters have protection. But that, guys, is the deck. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below what you think of the Elemental Hero Neos deck. Um, I think it's a really nice um, rogue strategy if built in probably in a different way, more focused. Um, so, what I was saying before is that you could probably reduce the amount of Neos spatials that you play focus on a Neos um, fusion in particular and just basically build your deck around centered around that so whether it's like Nebula Neos or anything else like that so you could probably do something like that um, so, so I think it's a very good road strategy now and at least very good for your locals so 
that's my thoughts so guys leave your comments down below like comment subscribe to the channel until next time guys as always happy dawning what's up youtube dad here with Zephyr Games. thanks for watching that video if you liked it please hit that big thumbs up button in the bottom corner as well and don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything make sure you click that notification bell as well so you know every time one of our new videos goes up Throughout the whole year of 2019, we're going to have more deck profiles, duels, and of course, pack openings for you guys to watch and enjoy the entire year round. So, stay tuned for more, and as always guys, happy dueling.